Let's begin this story with some context. Since gaining the ADE award in 2006, I have moved to part-time work two days a week at Aberfoyle Park High School as an ICT mentor, working with teachers, students, and parents, and one day a week at Flagstaff Hill R-7 School, as an e-learning teacher working with middle school students, and specialist teachers in music and art. So there's variety in my role as an ADE, and opportunity for innovation and creativity. Here's an overview of where this story will be going today, and the movie clip shows part of last year's ADEPD where the focus was on hands-on movie making and editing. The iPad Pro Learning project is very important for us to get this project right because next year every one of the 250 year eights will have an iPad. The strategy is that this year we focus on teachers being comfortable about using iPads and in particular discovering ways that iPads can make learning exciting. We want the very first lesson to be exciting and for that to set the tone for that teacher and that class for the year. The three P's, people, patience, and possibilities with technology as an exciting change agent are central to my work. The conversation opening is usually, need help? And, what would you like to know? Next, it moves to considering apps such as Pages, Keynote, iMovie, and GarageBand. Here's an excerpt from the official Apple ADE promo movie. So now you have the big picture about ADE people, and we're ready for the next chapter in the one ADE story. Here's a snapshot of what a neighbor foil ADE day may include. Planning with the principal and IT manager. Meeting teachers and students. Answering help questions. Working with teachers on making lessons more engaging. Documenting classroom practice on film. Planning and delivering PD. Maintaining the school iPad help site. Publishing educational movies on the school YouTube site. Visiting teachers in their teaching spaces for just-in-time support. Here's a snapshot of a Flagstaff ADE day. Teaching all-day classes of year 4, 5 and 6 about making projects in GarageBand, Comic Life, and iMovie. Collaborating with the music and art teachers on shared multimedia projects, such as art exhibition movie. Communicating with the Japanese teacher, regarding Edmoto groups. iPad PD has been a focus of my work at Aberfoyle. Here's part of the backstory as an example of my ADE practice. In 2011, I coordinated an iPad pilot project with my year 8 English class at the time. Here are some student comments on using iPads for three weeks in every lesson. At the end of the three weeks, the students were asked to review, in their choice of app, how good iPads can be for learning.
As a result, the school decided to implement iPads for Year 8 students for teaching and learning in time for the 2013 school year. Pimpin Teacher PD is the next chapter in our story, which begins in 2012. The word Pimpin was successful in getting attention. Some teachers were familiar with the American meaning to make attractive, while other staff were bemused about saxing up their worksheets. We even tried Pimpin the Invitation. Here's the movie the principal asked me to make to introduce the new laptop. stopped people from being arms folded, and started them getting excited. iPad PD was next in the second half of the year. The deal for teachers was get an iPad, and commit to PD. About one third of staff signed up straight away. The ADE role has include design and delivery of the iPad PD, with the assistance of the iPad team. We tried the flipped classroom strategy because we wanted to promote, and model, anytime anywhere learning. We also wanted teachers to experience getting faster help in lessons, so that they, in turn, would do the same for their students. PD resources were made available early, so that teachers could have the opportunity to get started on the PD task before the session. Here are some examples of the online resources. First, a reminder to use headphones for a better learning experience for everyone. Next, a summary of the learning task, along with single-page quick notes for getting started in iMovie. Finally, a screenshot of how to access help from within the iMovie app. A significant number of teachers accessed the PD resources before the session. As soon as they arrived at PD, they got on with the task and started asking questions. Some even arrived with the task completed. We changed from a formal start when everyone had arrived, to our current, informal style. As soon as people arrive, they get started, and ask for help. Later, we start sharing the early finished projects, and do the formal presentation of slides normally shown at the beginning. Next, we share apps and classroom strategies, and have Q&A and, at every table, there are nibbles and chocolates. We published an online handbook to support the teachers, and also to get feedback because the handbook's intended audience was this year's Year 8 students, and their parents. There's a link to the online iPad site on the school's welcome page. The ADE role has included drafting and publishing the handbook, and day-to-day -day management of the iPad site. Teachers designed iTunes U courses and iBooks for students to access on their iPads has been an outcome of the PD. The ADE role has been to support these teacher early adopters. One iTunes U course has even been designed by a Year 8 student. Whenever his teacher wants worksheets distributed, he uploads them to the class iTunes U site for 24-7 access, saving printing costs. The ADE role has included working with this Year 8 student when he became a test pilot for implementing WebEAV across Year 8, and later for teaching for his classmates how to get their work to their teacher when the file size exceeds email attachment limits. On day 1, this year, when there were only Year 8 students at school, the students downloaded the school handbook, written by the director of middle school with support from the 8BE. The handbook was designed to be read in iBooks, which is a free iPad app. 
Here's a selection of pages from the iBook. First, the welcome page which includes a virtual tour of the school. Next, a page to decode a student timetable. And finally a page of student-made movies for learning about the iPad. An example of seriously fun learning, we've used iPads in so many ways. For example, the school iPad media team filmed on iPads. The federal government community cabinet meeting held at the school in February. This proved to be a seriously fun way of learning. Here's a short clip filmed on an iPad in which Minister Penny Wong engages in conversation with the student actually doing the filming. The ADE role was to prep the students for filming on iPads and later student coordination, film management and publication to the school's YouTube site. As an ambassador, we just escort the ministers to where they're going to be having their meetings and ask any questions and answer them if they have any. How are you going? Oh, oh you're PMNC, are you? Where am I going? So, Natasha, are you doing this all day? Uh, well... Or just on me? Just on people who... Just on ministers who've arrived. Oh, okay. Here is a glimpse of PT in action in teaching and learning, which shows how far teachers and students have come with using iPads in lessons. The ADE role has been to work with individual teachers to document classroom practice by filming lessons in progress, as well as interviewing students. Very simply, what I'll do is I'll say a time in Spanish, uh, and the students will write the time uh, down just in number format, and when they think they've got an answer of what I've said in Spanish, they will hold the iPad up. It doesn't require any particular um, apps or anything like that, just pages or notes will do fine. All they were doing is making their font size large so I can see it from the back. More importantly though, as a teacher, I'll need to know which students have uh, understood the concepts and which students haven't. Furthermore, I get instant feedback of which students have understood the concepts and which students haven't, so I know which students are ready to move on and uh, do something more challenging and which ones are going to require extra support. What I like about the iPad is it's, they've already got it on them, so it's light and it saves time having to hand out boards and board pens and it doesn't waste paper as well. It's really good because like, we, if we have to write stuff down, it's really easy to note it down and we don't have to handwrite it. Um, and there's also the Spanish keyboard and like word reference and stuff on the internet. It's just a lot better because like, every lesson you don't have to hand your book up. Like, you just email to the teacher and then he checks it and then emails it back and like, marks your work. Did you hear a call now? Mm -hmm. uh, not yet. Okay. Oh, Miss Ferry. I'll try and send it when I get one. Place on the spoon surface. Let it go. Why? It pops. It pops. Oh my god, that is so good. Let's go, Matt Tom Brad. Um, it's just an app called iMovie and like you can make trailers and actual projects and you just record and put them in there and voice over much more quicker and easier to like write with like yeah. you don't have to yeah. worry about spelling spelling <laughs> no nah. now for a change to primary school using the movie introduction to the e-learning course for middle school students at flagstaff hill r7 school has been designed for maximum engagement and to model what the students can do over the semester the pedagogy has been to show the movie, and then to ask each student to mention one thing from the movie. Next, repeat viewing the movie, and then the learning begins with questions and planning. Here's one of the intro movies.
The movie is published on YouTube, and a single-page lesson summary emailed to the class teacher. The ADE aim is to model to those teachers what is possible in their other lessons. An art, music, and e-learning collaboration last term, produced a movie of student drawings with live recordings of student musicians, and edited an iMovie, with background music made by students using Magic GarageBand. Quite a project, and very exciting collaboration. Here's an excerpt. Next is student self-assessment after almost a semester of e-learning. First, an ADE prepared example provided the scaffolding for the students and classes from year 4 up. Now, here's one student self-assessment after almost a semester of e-learning. It's interesting how he recognizes the need for storyboards, so that he knows what he is supposed to be doing. Next, these self-assessments, including teacher comments, have been emailed to the class teachers, as part of the end-of-term reporting process with parents. They have also been sent to the students directly, using the school Edmodo site, set up by the Japanese teacher. A true test of effective teaching and learning, is when students talk about their learning to other people. This is exactly what happened about a month ago, when a group of Year 8s took their iPads to Education Department Headquarters in Adelaide. The students individually presented their favorite iPad app to a group of curriculum experts. The ADE role was to prep the students, and then work with them as a team on the day. Now, it's your turn. It's time for question and answer. 